Hello Year 2, it's Miss Buckley and I'm going to be teaching you your science lesson for today. So your learning question is, which material is best at letting light through? Your steps to success. I know the meaning of scientific vocabulary. I can identify the material an object is made from and I can identify the material that lets light through. Now let's start our learning. So this time we are looking at the suitability of materials. Here are some of the vocabulary that we have covered so far. The first one is absorbent and absorbent means when a material can soak up liquid. The second one is waterproof and waterproof means when a material does not let water through. It does not let water leak, it keeps the water nice and safe or the liquid nice and safe within the material. Then we have non-waterproof and that means the material is not waterproof. So that means that it does let water through. If you were to put water or a liquid through the material, the water or the liquid will drip through the material. We have the word flexible and that's when a material can bend and stretch easily. We have the word stretches or stretchy and again that's when you can pull a material as far as you can and it will not break. And we have the word malleable and malleable means when you can bend, stretch, squeeze, twist, when you can move the material in lots of different ways and the material will not break, it will mould to whatever shape you are creating. So now, today we are going to look at three different scientific words. The first one is transparent, my turn, transparent, your turn, superstars. And transparent means the material does let light through. So a transparent material, if you look at the screen, you can see that the torch has its light on and it's shining its light on the glasses and the light goes through the glasses towards the other side. So that means that it does let light through. You can see through it. The second word is translucent my turn translucent your turn well done and the word translucent means the material lets a little bit of light through so if you have a look at the torch you can see that the torch the light is shining through the torch and only a little bit of light is coming through the material you have to look really closely to see the light coming through the material and the last word is opaque my turn opaque your turn fantastic and opaque means the material does not let light through so having a look at the picture you can see that the torch the light is shining through the torch and you can see that the toy box is made of an opaque material, so it has blocked the light. The light is not going to go through the material of the toy box. So you cannot see the light shining through the material. Now, I have a picture on your screen. Can you tell me what material is this object made from? Tell me, shout it out. Well done. This object is a window and the window is made out of glass. Now, have a think. Is the material glass a transparent, which means it lets light through? Is it a translucent? which means it lets a little bit of light through or is it an opaque which means it does not let light through which word can you use to describe that material glass is 
transparent glass is transparent because it does let light through well done now what material is this object made from we have a pair of glasses the glasses is actually made from two materials the bit that you look through is made out of glass and the bit that holds the glass in place is made out of plastic but we are going to be focusing on the glass part of the glasses so glasses are made out of glass now is the glass a transparent material does it let light through is it a translucent material does it let a little bit of light through or is it an opaque material does it not let light through well done if you said that glass is a transparent material you are absolutely right what material is this object made from? We have a coat. What material is it made from? Well, this coat is made out of wool. So I want you to think about the material wool. Is wool a transparent material? Does it let light through? Is it a translucent material? Does it let a little bit of light through? Or is it an opaque material? Does it not let light through? If you said opaque, you are correct. Wool is an opaque material. Well, this type of wool for this coat is an opaque material, which means that it does not let light through. That is why we can make coats out of wool because it can keep you nice and warm and it will not let light through it now we have a table what material is this object made from amazing this table is made out of wood now is the wood a transparent a translucent or an opaque material fantastic wood is an opaque material because it does not let light through it. Now, in this picture, it looks like a child has made a flower out of something. What material is this object made from? This flower is made out of tissue paper. Now, is the tissue paper a transparent material? Is it a translucent material? Or is it an opaque material? The tissue paper is a translucent material. And the reason why it's translucent is because it lets a little bit of light through. Now we are going to have fun in our science lesson today because you are going to be conducting your very own science experiment. But first, you need to select the materials that you want to test and these are my materials i'm going to be testing a glass i'm going to be testing a jumper which is made out of wool i'm going to be testing kitchen roll which is made out of tissue i'm going to be testing a chair which is made out of wood i'm going to be testing a glass jar which is made out of glass and i'll be testing a bag which is made out of plastics so pause the video here, have a look around your home and see what things you can test. Fantastic, next you have to draw a table that looks very similar to mine. Your first column needs to have the title object on top. Your second column needs to have the title materials on top. And your third column needs to have the three words that we have learnt today which are transparent, translucent and opaque and you can draw pictures next to the words the way I have pictures next to the words to help you remember what the words mean. Now 
I would like you to fill out the first two columns of your table. So in your first column, you're going to list your objects that you have selected. In your second column, you are going to write the material that the objects are made from. Pause the video here and do that please. Now it's time to get experimenting. So you have to use a torch and if you do not have a torch in your home, you can do what I did and I just used the torch that's on my phone. So you're going to use a torch and you're going to shine a light on the different objects. So pick up one of your objects, shine the light on and you're going to see whether the light goes through it or if it doesn't go through it. And you're going to take turns selecting your objects and shining the light on it. While you are doing that, I would like you to record in your third column on your table whether the object and the material that the object is made from is transparent, translucent or opaque. Pause the video here and get experimenting. Was that fun? I'm sure that was super fun. I had so much fun doing my experiment and these were my results. So I found out that a glass, which is made out of the material glass, was transparent because the light went directly through the glass. The jumper, which was made out of wool, was in fact opaque because the light did not go through it. The kitchen roll, which is made out of tissue, was translucent. And that's because I could only see a little bit of light shining through the kitchen roll. The chair, which is made out of wood, was opaque. I could not see the light coming through the other side of the chair. The jar, which was made out of glass, was transparent. And the bag, which was made out of plastic, was translucent. Only a little bit of light shone through. Now here is your challenge question. Which material is best at letting light through? And how do you know? Pause the video here, look at your results and come back and you can hear my answer to that question. Well done, I hope you wrote your sentence underneath your table explaining which material is best at letting light through and how you know that material was the best at letting light through. Looking at my results, I can see that the material glass was the best at letting light through. And the reason why I know that is because the objects that I had that were made out of glass were the only transparent materials Glass was the only material that was transparent, which meant that it was it's the only material that let light through. Well done for doing an amazing science lesson by year two.